Hey girls, Kaylee here with day two of our bridesmaid hairstyles. This is my sister Jill, and she wanted some kind of old Hollywood inspired waves. Now, the thing is her hair took the curl a lot better than I thought it could, so we're actually gonna do this with a looser iron, but we're gonna use the same technique. Basically, you're gonna separate the hair from the ears up and clip the top out of the way. Then take a one inch iron other than the three quarter inch iron that I use for this and curl either toward or away from the face. On this side, basically she wanted this side going toward her face and the other side going away. So we're gonna go ahead and curl this side toward the face and then continue curling around the head in the exact same direction. So all these curls are going to the left. And you can see that I'm taking rectangular sections for this as if I was gonna place them onto a roller. They're about an inch wide and about three inches high. So once you've completed that entire layer, you're just gonna go ahead and let down the next layer and do the exact same thing. So create this kind of vintagey waves slash curls. You have to kind of make these go all in the same direction so that they'll kind of meld together. So you can see here I'm separating the next section out, clipping the top out of the way, and curling again. Now in case you guys haven't heard this in my previous videos, I always pin these curls up to make sure that the, cur the curl holds as well as possible. Now Jill's hair didn't need this as much as I thought it did. Um, it held it really, really well without it, but just in case, it's always good to kind of pin it up just to make sure that it cools in its shape, and that way you get the strongest curl possible. And then once you're done with that section, you're letting down the top section and doing the exact same thing over again. So all these curls have gone in the exact same direction and all of them have been in a rectangular shape. That way they're pretty much all little identical twins and you can kind of comb them together and meld them together into that kind of cohesive curled slash waved shape that was very popular in the 1940s. And even though these curls were a bit tighter than I intended, I don't think that it completely strayed too far from the old Hollywood thing. Um, her dress that she's wearing for it is a little bit more old Hollywood so I thought these were kind of perfect for that. And then once you have those all placed and they're completely cooled, you can go ahead and start taking them down. You can see these made little ringlets on her, which is kind of funny. And then once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and go through it with a wide tooth comb. You can see here I'm combing them through. And I'm actually gonna comb these around my hand to kind of shape them into the place that I want. So sorry I had to leave this clip in because you have to see the way that I'm kind of combing this around my hand and kind of shaping it to come inside toward her face. And then I did kind of the opposite thing on the other side where I was coming it away. And you can see that this is actually a nice kind of 1940s inspired look. We just wanted it to be a little bit looser and more effortless, so we're going to do a one inch curling iron for the wedding. But that is basically all we did. We kind of finished it off with some hairspray and these curls lasted really well on her all day long. And you know what? You don't have to do this for a bridesmaid hairstyle. You could do this for a holiday hairstyle or for a party or a formal event or, you know, just on a day that you want to look extra glamorous. So I hope you guys like this. Check back tomorrow for the last of my bridesmaid hairstyles and be sure to check out the first one that I already did. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!